I get a lot of questions about exporting and, the, and what choices to choose when you're exporting. So I'll go over a few of the most common ones, the ones that I use the most. Um, when you want to export, when you've finished your project in the new Camtasia, you'll export by clicking Share here in the top right corner. And it's going to give you a drop-down list. Local file, screencast, Vimeo, YouTube, Google Drive, My Places, and a custom production. All of these can be found if you select the local file, and then in the drop-down menu, you're going to find the same ones. Very similar to Camtasia 8 as well. You'll find screencast.com, Vimeo, Google Drive, YouTube, other places, and then all of these local files. Let me talk to you about uh, these. I'll go ahead and export a few examples. So the MP4 only, the ones I'm going to talk about first, these will not be interactive videos. These are generally good for putting on uh, Facebook or onto YouTube. Um, these are just videos that you can share and watch, and that's all they are. The 420p means how many pixels high the side of your video is. So 420 is going to be a lot smaller than 720, which is going to be a lot smaller than 1080. HD is generally considered 720 and larger. Most high-quality videos are exported in 1080p. Um, the issue, though, is if you didn't create your project, if you didn't film it or record it, or if you didn't uh, edit it in a 1080p raster and then you try to expand it to 1080 when you export it, then it's going to look pixelated. It'll be big enough, but it'll look pixelated, blurry, not quite as good. So if you're going to do 720, work in 720 through your whole entire project and export in 720. Same thing with 1080 and 480. Um, this also is the same with MP4. If you work with the MP4 with Smart Player, if you worked in it 480, you're going to export in 480. If you built it in 720, you want to export it in 720. If you build it in 1080, you want to export it in 1080. Um, but what the Smart Player does is it allows you to export uh, uh, an HTML file that you can then play and click and watch. So for this project, it's an interactive video that we want uh, to be able to uh, interact with and it also has captions and, and those will those will be affected in different ways as well um, so let's first export this as an HD file we'll share local file uh, as HD 720p but mp4 only now this is going to be a warning that pops up that says the video contains at least one feature not supported by this file format if you have captions you're going to lose them if you have hotspots, you're going to lose them. If you produce this video, choose OK. So we'll click OK, say yes. Um, I'm going to export it to my desktop, and we'll call this demo ELB video only. All right, and we'll go ahead and click export. All right, now that it has finished exporting, we'll go ahead and open up that file, and we're going to click on it and view it. Let's see what it looks like. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is that these closed captions are burned in. They're now burned in captions. There's no way I can turn those off. And you can see that's going to be a problem uh, for some of my viewers. They're not going to be able to read this, and, and that's not going to be the greatest thing. Let's see what else is not going to work. Whether you need eLearning templates or custom training courses built from the ground up, we've got you covered. In this short video presentation, you'll have the chance to learn what we have to offer to help you become e-learning rock stars. So, what will it be? Would you like to learn about our templates? We have created and continue to create templates for e-learning software. Okay, it looks fine. Other than those captions, let's come here to the end. Go ahead and select one of these options to learn more about what we do here at e-learning brothers. Okay, these buttons are not clickable. Um, and that's going to be a problem. We don't want that. We don't like that for what we're doing. So our next option, if we pull up Camtasia, is to export a local file but with the Smart Player. So we'll go ahead and try that again. MP4 with Smart Player up to 720p. We're going to export it into the same place on the desktop. Call it uh, Inter Smart Player. Save that, click finish, and it'll export. All right, now that it is exported, let's go ahead and pull it out. This is what was exported, this full project. Um, a project like this would need to be posted. If you're going to post it online, then this entire folder needs to be hosted. And uh, then you would put the link to this HTML file that will start your project. If we double click on this now, it opens up Chrome, and it opens up this player. If I push play on the player, 
Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. It plays the video. We're You'll all... notice the captions aren't there, and there's a CC button down here. If I click that CC button, it turns the captions on. So now I have captions that I can turn on and off. Looks like I also have a menu button that I can click that'll pull up my different uh, markers or other things like that. Go ahead and turn that off. If we push play and oh, come here to the end, then I can now click on eLearning templates, and this is going to bring me to eLearningBrothers.com. Or if I click on custom development, it should take me to techsmith.com. Doesn't look like that worked. Hi. I so I'll need to fix that bug. But that is what that export does. That export will pull it all on, into a folder that you can upload or put wherever. Uh, but you do have to be able to put that entire, entire folder up onto your site and then link to that HTML file. If you don't have a site that you can do that with, the next best option is to click screencast.com. If you post to screencast.com, um, then it's hosted by techsmithscreencast.com. It's hosted by them and you can just get a shareable link. For example, here I have hosted, I, I uploaded it to screencast.com and you can see that all of those files are here, but this uh, flash player is the actual video. If I click on that, it brings me to a player like this that now has the video in it. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. And this this version it. had different music than the piano music. Um, I can come down to share, and here's a shareable link. Or if I want to embed this video, I can embed it with an iframe onto my page. And this is how uh, this is how a lot of the interactive videos are shared. You put them onto screencast, and then you share it from screencast to your page. The other options that I listed in uh, in the blog are great in the article. Um, if you have other options or any questions, don't feel, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments, and we'll be happy to to take those as we can. I hope this was helpful, and let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.